So here we have the believer. It's set up, pre-flight checks have been done. Um, just checking the controls. Now arming the aircraft. So we have to push the here to arm button. Then I have to swipe to select arming on the here link. And I also then have to change my flight mode for shake to fly. So I have to put down the controller. I'm gonna pick up the aircraft, I'm gonna shake it, and then it will literally go and just fly. Here we go, shake, 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 looking good. <laughs> Right, so the Believer's out flying. It's 10 minutes, 11 minutes into its flight. There it is, it's all it's flying. Sorry about the wind noise. Flying at 120 meters high. So this has a hot spot. I've created a hot spot on the here link, which is then linked to my laptop to show me the mission and read out what's going on. It's easier to hear what my laptop's telling me and what's going on than it is to actually look at the here link. The here link's got all the data and so is the laptop. So the laptop is like my primary control monitoring at the minute and I'm using the here link as secondary. Should the laptop fail, I will then switch to full, e e full here link control, if you like, and monitoring. But at the minute everything's good. 18 satellites. Heading to waypoint 74. <laughs> Heading to waypoint 74. You can't see it on the camera, but the the, Heading to waypoint 75. the believers out there. I'm actually doing 800 meters today, and before anyone has kittens, that is legal in the UK because I can see the aircraft. It's a dull evening, but I can see it. It is big enough. Um, just on this thing, you can't see squat. <laughs> um, landing. I've got to come across these back fields to land into wind because it's a fixed wing. So. As the windsock shows here at this club, I've got to come in. So I'm going to fly alongside the middle of the next field. It will then turn. It's about 10 meters as it gets to that fence there, that hedgerow. Now it's meant to land somewhere here in the middle. Have I given myself enough room or is it going to shoot on? It'll depend upon that wind. So we'll see. This could be interesting for the landing. Right. I'll let it continue doing its thing and if I get its landing, I get its landing recorded. But I probably will have to, might have to take the hair link and just fly it myself. So I've got my mate who's with me, can't see him because he's at the bottom with the car. I've just told him the basics on the Mini and just to fly and hold it there. That's all I want, that's the only shot now. As you can see, I'm walking across the field, and the reason is I don't like flying behind myself. It's something you learn in model flying. You don't fly around in circles behind yourself. That's just bad flight. I either want it on one side of me or the other. So you notice I'm walking across diagonally towards where my friend is at the bottom there near the car. And that means the plane, when it comes into view, it'll be on one side of me. It's no longer flying behind me because that's just bad flight management. There's the believer. I've taken manual control because the aircraft, the, the it wasn't going to make it make it into the field. You can just see it there gently doing the nice turn. Now, for some reason, my cameraman pushed a button at some point and we lose the feed. So this is the aircraft landing at another site when I was doing some testing. Downwind leg. And turn. So this will be interesting. The wind's not quite as strong today. Oh, 
Oh, plenty of room. Nowhere near it. Still got six metres before the ditch. That'll do me. Yeah. 